so uh, if you observe here that uh, the cone when we open the cone uh, the shape would be like this and uh, the angle between that uh, included angle between that two end generator uh, is uh, required to be calculated so how it is calculated theta is equal to r by s into 360 r is the radius of the cone and s is the slant generator or end generator so r by s into 360 if you calculate then you will get the included angle now i will directly move to the question itself so you may note down questions quickly and then we will start otherwise that ppts are available so you can download it and uh, you can uh, practice it afterwards so here the question is uh, now you can check out here draw the development of the part uh, p of the lateral surfaces of that particular cone. So here the dimensions are given in the centimeter. So we have to convert it into millimeter. One is 60 mm height is here, 20 mm one cut is there, and another cut is passing from the left extreme corner uh, with the angle of 30 degree. And the next part is uh, here it is a diameter of this particular cone is 50 mm. Even though it is a half circle, we have to draw while drawing, you have to draw the full circle. The short diagram is uh, mentioned in the problem. So we have to understand that this is a short diagram and we have to convert it into full diagram. That full circle we have to draw while drawing on the paper or maybe on the AutoCAD. So I will directly move to the AutoCAD. Do remember that question. Uh, I have prepared uh, same question in the uh, AutoCAD. So I will share that screen. Mm. So I think here uh, new share then AutoCAD. So now uh, AutoCAD screen is visible to you, everyone. Uh, so I will use that um, particular AutoCAD screen now. So I have already prepared here uh, the question, the basic step. So here it is a cone of a diameter of 50 and then height is a 60. And there are two cuts. One is 20 mm below the top of, uh, top of this apex. And then uh, this particular, the naming I have given. And then one cut is from this corner. So what I will do, I will just move this naming to this one. Uh, yes, what happened this one? Okay, now, mm. okay, once again, I'll uh, use this one. Do not do anything. Uh, who is doing that? Please don't do it. Okay, so here uh, I have moved this one, this part. After that, what we have to do? Uh, we have to uh, use the basic development and then we have to solve this one. So before going for the basic development, I have to take a cut. So first cut is 20 mm below the apex. So I will use this magenta color and then line type is uh, phantom. So phantom, where is phantom? Okay, so phantom is not uploaded here. So you just upload and I will use here now center. And then what I will do, I will uh, use the line. So line, where is? Uh, that line is there and then then uh, first is from 30 degree from this point so at the rate length of the line let us take a 50 mm uh, less than angle is 30 degree so this is for first so 50 mm randomly I have taken first cut then second cut uh, 20 mm from the apex so 20 mm from the apex, how we can draw? 
So I will directly what I will do, I will draw 20 mm this side and then from horizontal. And then I will remove this part. Then you can extend it or you can pick up this and you can extend like this. Okay, so likewise, you have to draw uh, first this one and then second this one. Now, uh, as usual, it is very similar to the um, uh, development of pyramid. So you have to take all the cutting points on the true line, true generator. So here, 0, 1 or 0 for you um, is the true generator. Either this one or this one is a true generator because if you uh, see the top view of this 0, 5 or 0, 1, you will get the horizontal line for this. Now, next part is that uh, you just take the cutting points, how many cutting points you will get. So here one cutting point you will get, then this one, two cutting points you will get, then here again two, here again two, and here one. So that I have to give the naming to this one. So similar to that, uh, I will use the naming here. That one, one, two, eight, three, seven, and then four, six, and five. Uh, please do not write on the screen. Okay. Uh, then you have to take the projection. You have to take the projections by using projection lines. So I will use this one and take the projection on true line only. So this projection should be here. Then this one should be here. Okay. Then this one, yeah, this one, okay, and this one is here. So uh, I have to write the naming. So what we have to do, I will just trim it, whatever the parts are not required. So all the projections I have taken. So I will use the same color and I will give the naming to this one. So it would be better for understanding. Uh, so I will mark first points. So here points. One, two, this one, and this one. Okay. Then what do you have to do? Uh, then you can give the naming to this one. So use DT command. Start point is here. Then four three zero. So here I will use the naming that one. Then here two eight two comma eight. Then here three comma seven because we have taken projection from three seven three comma seven. Then here. Uh, 4,6. 4,6. And the last one is a 5. Okay. So after that, I'll escape it and then get into the end. Okay. So this is how it is required to prepare. I am just uh, talking about this cutting plane line. I'm not going to discuss here uh, this cutting plane line. So first, this one I have to prepare. After that, uh, what we have to do, we have to prepare a basic development. So there are two methods, basic development. Either you can capture this along with these points, along with this naming and points. Copy this one, everything, along with numbering and these points. Getting? Control C, Control B. Paste it somewhere here. Okay, then I have to make it horizontal. So I will use this one and go to the rotate command. Select the base point is this one. 
then reference reference is from this point to this point and then i will make the angle zero okay and then i will move it properly uh, uh meanwhile what you can do you can just put the someone can put r by s into 360 and tell me angle r is here uh 50 and then yes 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 i will measure the yes so yes means slant generator so 50 i think it would be 55 around uh it's it's double so i think i have to change the uh dimension setting here standard uh, manage dimension style modify text mm, units okay the scale factor is two that's why it's showing double so i will put it one so it would be around 65 okay so it would be 65 so yes is a 65 r is a 50 and uh, r by s into 360 just do the calculation and tell me the answer someone can on their voice and tell me answer Two seventy six. How many it is? Two seventy. Two seventy six point nine two. Two seventy six point point nine two. Nine two. Two seventy six point nine two. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I will move it first. Okay, so the included angle is 276.92. So I will start with this one. Uh, I have purposefully made it horizontal. So when we do the horizontal, it would be easy to take the projection. So that's why uh, we will make it horizontal here and then we will draw the uh, angle. So, so go to the line, then length of the line already we known that it's uh, 65. So length of the line at the rate, length of the line 65, and then less than angle 276.92. Is that clear? 276.92? Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, so I have 276.92. Uh, it's 270, how it is calculated? Into 360, have you done it or not? Because 276 means 2, 27, uh, R by S, R is equal to 50. 50 divided by 65 into 360. 276 into 92. Is it 276? R, yes, uh, sorry, yes, uh, diameter is 50. So we have to take R is equal to 25. So 25 divided by 65 into 360. So 138, it's coming 138. Everybody is taking 50. Its diameter is 50. So we have to take R is equal to 25. Do remember, this is an accidental point. Um, Okay. 138.46. Around 138. Is it okay? 138.46? Yes. Ah, okay. So uh, the angle should be 138.46. Do remember that. R, R means radius we have to take. Do not take diameter. If you take the diameter, your angle would be different. So at the, at the rate, length of the line, let us take uh, 65 less than angle is 138.46 okay now uh, just i will make it uh, 09 and then uh, you have to when we open the cone so what happened it would be uh, like uh, uh, the part of the circle so here uh, we have to draw the basic development of this particular cone
so angle uh, radius is 65 so it would be fit perfectly then uh, trim it okay uh, now do remember while trimming it should be trim from here eh? otherwise if it is keep if you keep, uh, keep this part then it would be uh, difficult to divide so what you have to do you have to trim properly okay and then remaining part you can delete so it should be start with this line and end sh should be on this line okay now you just divide this circle parts part of the circle into eight equal parts so divide because we have divided circle into eight equal parts so we have to use the divide command you do and then divide into eight parts okay now after that what you can do you can just join the lines from this point to this point then this then this to this 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 to this and then finally this okay so there are two methods to draw the basic development that last uh, time uh, in the pyramid you might have attended my lecture last or i have uploaded same lecture on the youtube so you can watch over there also that i have taken the projection from this point to this point by circle and then i have plotted here now what i have done here I have copied all the points along this line so i can directly take the projection here only so how i will show you before that i will uh, uh, give the naming here start point here dt t1 zero. so here i it is one then two i'm opening it from one three then four five six seven eight and then nine here no one okay so uh, likewise now i have to take the projections of these points so now look at here so here that point one is on one line point two and eight is on two and eight so either i can copy these points on this along with this line or another method is that you can draw a circle. Suppose if I want to mark the point for you, point for you is on number five. So I have to take the circle like this. And then I have to move it from, it is very similar to the pyramid from zero to this zero. So for you, and I have to mark then for you number point. So I will use black color now. So mark the point for you, for you, for you is here. So you have to mark like this. So uh, instead of taking circle from here and then we have to move here, instead of that directly you can mark the circle from this point to this whatever the points are here. So I will trim it first and then I'll show you the second method to take the projection. This is the first method to take the projection. In that case, it is not necessary to copy these points. Getting? It is not necessary to copy these points. But uh, if you copy these points, it is not necessary to move this circle from uh, uh, this point to here. So directly you can mark the points here only. So how? Look at here. So first, uh, you have to take five is here. Now then, I will mark the four and six. Four and six is on uh, four and six. So I will take this. So this four and six is on four and six. So you have to mark that four and six. So four number is here and then six number is here. Okay. Then uh, you can delete the circle or you can keep as it is. Okay. Or it is better to keep the projections by zero nine color. So take the zero nine and keep the projection. Okay. So it is passing from this one. So I will trim it. Afterwards, you can trim that circle. Now, same way, uh, another circles also you have to mark from this 4 to 3, 7. Uh, sorry, 0 to 3, 7. It is on 3, 7. Then from this to 2 and 8. So look at here. Now 2 and 8 is not captured here. Point. So sometimes you require to take the projection from here. So 2 and 8 from this point to 
this point. So while copying, make sure that all the points are captured properly and then move it from this. So I am explaining here both the method, whatever you feel better, you can uh, follow that one. So here two and eight is there and uh, I will mark this point also here. Okay, it is not necessary to mark here, but for the projection only I have mark here. Now the one is here already there. So I will trim the remaining portions. Okay. Now, uh, please pay attention. Now here I have to mark the points. So I will use black color now and point command. So one point is here. We have to mark the one point here as well as here because these are one already taken projection. So one is here and as well as here then two and eight two and eight the projection is here so two is on two and eight so you have to mark purposefully i have given similar numbering you can use another numbering also so two is here two somewhere here and eight is somewhere here okay so mark correctly after that the next part is uh five and six uh sorry five five already marked three and seven so three and seven is on three, three is here, and then seven, seven is here. And then finally, uh, five is already marked. So the uh, pattern is like this, okay? Now, uh, next one more part is that, here one more cutting line is there from this one. So if you observe, if I give here uh, A, then B, C, D, E, F, and G. So number of cutting points, same similar to this one you will get eight cutting points you will get and that if you take the projections of cutting points on the true line on the true line so it is must uh, to take the projection on true line and then transfer it here so all the projection you will get on a single line all the projection you will get on the single point so what i have to do i have to i will directly take the projection from this point to this point and then I will move it from this point to. So do remember when we cut the uh, circle uh, cone horizontally, so you will get the curve at that location. So I will trim it. This one. So the pattern would be like this for this this cutting plane, and this cutting plane I have to take the polyline. So polyline, I will use the polyline here and I will fit it. So that is required to fit. You can make it zoom somewhere because many points are there. And after when you complete it, you just fit it properly. Double click and uh, fit. Okay, so uh, in the problem, it is asked to keep the middle part. Am I right? Middle part, this part, P part. So the cone is required to cut uh, here, upper part and the bottom portion and the middle portion I have to keep as it is. So what I have to do? I have to make this dark from this point to this point and this point to this point. So this is what the final answer of this particular problem. Now only thing is that the dimensions, what are the dimensions are required to be given here. So that main dimensions here, it is uh, slant edge or slant uh, generator. Align dimension, it is 65 around. Then next part, linear dimension, this to this. This would be 60 and then angular dimension from here to here. So this angle is required to be given 30, 138. This is very important. And then uh, the diameter, diameter or radius of the circle. So do not do mistake in the radius and diameter while calculating the dimensions uh, of the this basic development. So this is how it is required to be solved. And if you could solve like this, uh, so this question probably will be asked for 
uh, 13 marks do you remember what is the difference between pyramid and cone so the pyramid having folds so in the pyramid you required to draw these lines dark this whatever the lines you are going to use that is that all are required to be uh, drawn by this uh, black color getting and um, if you uh, draw the cone then it is required to draw by 090 always do remember sometimes if you want to keep the bottom portion then what we have to do suppose if it is uh, say only one line is there and if it is asked to remove this part then we have to make this dark this portion we have to make the dark and we have to keep this uh, this bottom portion only and this portion we have to make it 09 color so uh, the color coding is very important in case of uh, this development and if you miss the color coding you will lose your marks to remember that so this is how it is required to complete now uh, there are many examples in the ppds uh, so you you have to practice it so i will share that screen please uh, wait so this one okay now uh, this example we have solved right now uh, you can see the answer of this i'll check you set you answer so you can check out this answer is there for this one so the shape would be like this for bottom portion and they they we have made it horizontal but uh, one can draw like this also the orientation doesn't matter for the development so you can draw any way uh, the orientation doesn't matter we have made uh, that particular uh, horizontal for our convenience to take the projection and other things so one can draw a parallel line and then he can draw also no issue but it's difficult to uh, handle the screen of the advocate that's why i have made it uh, horizontal and then i have drawn uh, now uh, this part i i will stop here and then i will move to the next part of this uh, particular chapter uh, i'll share that screen to with you quickly okay so uh, quickly i will go through some this part so this ppt is uploaded on uh, moodle so you can download there are many examples um, that you can learn by yourself and the total animation is there so you can easily draw on the notebook uh, so this example i'm going to explain here here what is asked uh, a square prism of uh, 40 mm edge of the base and 65 mm height stands on its base on the hp with the vertical faces equally inclined these faces are equally inclined that's why it is 45 degree uh, a horizontal hole of 40 mm diameter is drilled centrally through the prism such that the hole passes through the opposite vertical edges of the prism so one horizontal hole is drilled at middle of this uh, prism uh 40 mm diameter drill centrally and then hole passes through the opposite vertical edge of the prism draw the development of the prism so it is a square prism so when we uh, open the square prism you obviously you will get the rectangle and then four rectangles you have to do it that uh, as it is a four sides so uh, and the hole is drilled at the middle so when we draw hole at the middle we have to divide this hole into equal parts eight equal parts now it is a 12 equal parts you can divide into eight equal parts okay after that give the numbering to that hole then uh, take the projection of that all vertical uh, lines uh, so here you will get only eight parts so that's why you uh, that number of projections will be reduced getting and then give the uh, when you give the uh, number to this hole then take the projection like this so this point is on ab as well as ad so two times cuts front side of the one cut and back side of one cut so two times it cuts when we uh, that you can imagine that when we drill the hole to the uh, any prism so it cuts two times front portion and the bottom portion so back side portion sorry so uh, you will get the two times one is here one is here 
then two two twelve two twelve. So two times cuts you will get. So similarly, uh, you can mark this number of uh, cuts on the bottom portion, and then next you just divide the basic development. You prepare the basic development. So uh, the total rectangle uh, would be four times uh, forty means one sixty length, and the height is equal to sixty five. So uh, do that one, and then uh, there are basically four, only four uh, vertical lines: A A. Then B B C C and D D. Other these vertical lines, these are the imaginary vertical lines we have to prepare for the reference. So same way from take the project uh, point uh, circle from A to this one A. A to one, and move this circle from this A to this one one uh, A, and mark this A one point. Mark this one point. Okay. What we have to do? Once again, I am telling you. If I want to mark one point here, one vertical line, so you have to take the circle from this A to this one, and move this circle from this A to this A as well as this A. So you will get the one here as well as one here. Suppose if I want to mark something like that, let us take a seven. So how to mark the seven? Take a circle from C to seven. C to seven. This circle you have to move on the C, and then you will get on both sides seven here, seven here. So similarly, you have to mark all the vertical lines and then horizontal lines. And this total eight points you have to match with this A point. So here, look at here, one point, this one, this one you have to mark. Similarly, this one, this one you have to mark. Okay. So likewise, you have to mark one, then two and twelve. Look at here. This two and twelve, this two and twelve. So mark the points. Similarly, you have to mark all the points. So you will get ellipse-like structure. So same points you will get on the other side also. Okay, and then you have to join this with a free hand or polyline, polyline fit. And then what you have to do? Look at here. So A to A is a folding. So this should be dark. B to B. This B to B, B to B is folding, but middle portion is cut. Hole is there, so that why it is not required to draw. This D to D is having a hole at middle, so it it is required to remove here dark line. Uh, so this is how it is required to prepare, and then uh, uh, it is completely uh, uh, that total development you can see here. Now. Uh, Next part here, it is a cylinder. In the cylinder, there is a similar kind of there. The cylinder is there, and square hole is inside at the middle with the angle. And then, same way, you have to divide this square hole one side into two parts. Here, uh, three parts they have divided. You can divide into two parts. One side, two parts. Take the middle point, middle point, middle point, middle point, and take the projection in a downward direction. Wherever it cuts, the extra portion is required to prepare here. So here it is A. Then likewise you can take the projections, give the numbering, and uh, prepare it well. So you have to use polyline for each and every one side. Okay, polyline fit, polyline fit, and then finally it is a cylinder. So you will not get any get any vertical dark line here. Why? Because this is a cylinder. Okay, so rolling is there, so you will not get the this part. So similar to that cone, also here, uh, you can see here. Uh, better than this, I have explained this part. So these three examples you can practice along with this uh, solve example uh, for. Uh, so this is how it is. Uh, required to solve so total i think 63 participants were there i have to take the attendance uh, by capturing the sem now uh, before that uh, if you have any query you can free to ask raise your hand and just uh, ask the query by on uh, just on your voice and then ask the query Still, we have around uh, how many minutes? I don't know exactly. So
so total 40 minutes we will get uh, yes uh, who can ask the query you just ask it those who want to ask hello yes yes please Yes, there are two uh, conclusions are there uh, that I the no query means there are two conclusions. One is everything is understood, otherwise nothing is understood. What what the I I don't know exactly. So please, uh, if you have any doubt, you can free to ask. How many uh, students are you know batch seventy na? Uh, so seven students are not participated. Sixty three are participated. So that is a good call for the this lecture s yes. uh, who is this ah, yes ask manali please if you have any doubt you can ask okay other than this if you want to ask something you can ask no issue other than this queries um if you have any doubt regarding uh, this uh, uh, particular whatever we are trying that anything you can ask regarding submission of or maybe regarding uh, uploading of the this uh, uploading of the answers on model or maybe any, any any other queries if you have then you can ask hmm? sir, sir we don't have any pc right now or uh, our drawing sheet